Welcome to the Jeremiah Show. I'm so happy that I'm here. Oh, well, you weren't supposed to say anything yet. You're jumping oh, in sorry. already. Oh, I have gosh. to embarrass you a little. <laughs> you you were so personable. I, I thought it started already. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, you thought I was talking to you already. I am yes. only speaking That's to you. That's how your audience feels. Like, he's talking to me. <laughs> oh, um, she's the girl with three names, <laughs> but only one golden voice. The honey syrupy voice of an angel. A voice that makes me think of hot, sweltering summer nights on the bank of the river with chickadees as uh, uh, cicadas. I should let me do that again. Okay. <laughs> I love like chickadees. Chickadees. Uh, uh, that those are birds, though. I, I was. I was doing, I was doing cicadas. My dad used to sing me that song. <laughs> that is a good song. Anyway, okay. Go ahead. It's been a long time since I've heard it. <laughs> I'm going to do it again we from the top. We got to keep this flub in there. This is so yeah. good. We got to keep that in there. <laughs> okay. Well, let, okay. Let me just. You should. Mistakes are good. <laughs> okay. But I'll shut up now. Well, it is a voice that makes me think, again, I'm going to repeat, of a hot, sweltering summer night on the bank of a river with cicadas as backup singers and passing a bottle of whiskey and lies between good company. That's how her voice does for me. My special guest today is Gray Delisle. I'm going to explain. <laughs> there she oh, is no, again. I, <laughs> I love it. Wait, She's got. A... Wait it up. You said Gray Delisle. Okay. I, give, I know. Give me I... a sign when I come in. <laughs> you can jump in anytime. It's too late. They're already getting to know you. <laughs> She's uh, very special, as you can can see and hear. And I was going to explain those three names, the three names intro that I that I had there, in a moment. We're going to get to know each and every one of them, but that's not for right now. For now, let's just call her Gray. Gray Delisle is a multi-instrumentalist and Grammy Award winning singer and songwriter. Gray has released several acclaimed albums, including The Graceful Ghost and Iron Flowers. She returned to music after a 20-year hiatus and recently released a covers album, aptly titled Borrowed, teaming up with rocker. Eddie Clendenning to form the Rough Housers, a band that performs kids' music for adults. <laughs> I like that twist. In 2022, she was nominated for the Children's and the Family Emmy Award for Outstanding Voice Performance and an animated program for her work on The Loud House. Welcome, Gray. Now you can come in. <laughs> I can talk now. See, I was still quiet. I was like, is it my turn yet? Um, no, I... Oh, hi. I'm glad to be here. Yes. I'm so happy to have for you. Adults, here. That, that band we we don't we don't play out anymore or anything, but it was a, it was just a one album project. But we had DJ Bonebreak from X on drums and Murray Hammond, my ex husband from the old ninety sevens, played bass. And we had like a super group. It was amazing. But um, we were all too famous to tour. I wasn't too famous. The other people were too famous to tour. So, but I'm a mother of three children, and I six, nine, and sixteen, and I hate kids music. I never would play kids music for them. I only would play you know Johnny Cash and the Beatles and you know the Everly Brothers and Buddy Holly. It just all that kind of stuff Bo Diddley and um and so they all have great music taste and I think it's because of that so I wanted to make a record that that sounded like things that sounded like that that they could we yeah. did like you know anyway people can look up the rough houses if they want but to is it for adults or is it for kids or it's is for, it for kids, everybody it's, it's for adults to to not want to kill themselves after the right, <laughs> right. <laughs> like uh, like all for the... everyone yeah it's for everyone it's I don't have any kids but my my friends all come like when I see them there, they get out of their cars, you know, when we go meet up for some, for a dinner or something, they get out of their cars and they're like steam coming out of their ears. And they're like, if I hear door of the Explorer one oh. more time, or if I hear, uh, ice, is it ice? No, frozen. Fro oh, frozen. <laughs> I hear I the frozen, frozen soundtrack. Too, and I do Dora. So I know what, of what you speak. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it pays the bills, you know, Dora. Do you I can't do Dora, Dora. Are you She's Dora the Explorer? <laughs> yes. Are you I'm really? Like, well, I'm not sure if my, my, I, I'm on the new one. They're doing a new one for Nickelodeon. I'm not sure if it's been announced yet, but it's fine. They, I was going to tell you about the character, but then I thought, like, I think I might have signed an NDA, so I better not do that. But I'm going to be on it. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Like, what have you? Well, see, I, I don't want to give that away yet because it's your music is what oh. attracted me first to you. And then I found and then I I opened the world, your world. And there's a lot in that world that you're <laughs> that you know. do and that who you comedy. are. I, I just Crazy. released a stand up special. Don't yeah. give away all my secrets yet, because we're going to get to, we won't, we won't, we're only getting to know one of the grays right <laughs> oh, now. one of the grays. Okay, this is a yes. music gray. Yes. Okay, so what was your given name at birth? 
Aaron Gray Van Osbury, which is a Dutch name. So when I toured in Holland, they went, they loved it. They loved that I was Dutch. It was so funny. I've never been so popular for being Dutch, except for in Holland. They have a lot of <laughs> national pride. <laughs> That's yes. awesome. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So who is Gray Griffin? Well, I've been married a lot here, Jeremiah. So I've, <laughs> I've been, Oh, I, I thought they married, were character No, names. I got married at, at 19 to a, to Delisle. And so I kept that name. And then I, and then I married a, I married H Murray Hammond from the old 97s. We're still dear, dear friends. That's our, my oldest son is, is with him. And he's, they we're all just, we, we're just going to see. He's playing with the Long Riders right now. So my son and I are leaving for Spain on Saturday. My oldest and I are going to go do a little groupie tour. We're going to like be, follow the, the Long Riders around Spain a little bit and see some museums in the meantime. But so is your I, oldest son the artist that, yes, that we see? Artist who, so if you watch the YouTube version of this interview, you'll yes, see this incredible awesome. art. Yes, he loves Picasso too. So we're gonna so give it, a lot so of So give Picasso. him a plug. What's his Yes, his, his Instagram is Tex Hammond, T E X H A M M O N D. And he's a rising star in the art world. It's amazing. He's he's done like his seventh gallery show and he's he's moving to New York next year and he's in all kinds of magazines and he's got limited edition posters with really reputable printing presses and the, the art world's a whole thing i'm learning about but anyway i could talk about him all day i love him so much yeah um, well back yeah. to yeah. your, then your I married various... a Griffin. i married okay. a Griffin, and then i and he really wanted me to change my name even though i was like but i've built this whole career as delisle but he really so then i did that and then i then that didn't work out so i'm a i have a lots to write country songs about though i have to say my marriages have not worked out but i've got lots of material uh, <laughs> you do and and you do yeah. it so well like i said in the beginning you made me feel when i listen to the music i'm going to tell real quickly uh our we have a mutual friend mark platt uh radio candy radio and radio candy media and he submits you know he puts out new music that he's hot on um for the radio india alliance and and just on for his radio stations and to let other people know and I probably get, you know, 20, 20 plus a day of music submissions. And I feel so bad sometimes because I just cannot stop what I'm doing and listen to the music the way, but I, but I, I feel like I owe those musicians that respect because they sent it to me, but yours came through from Mark Platt and just something about it. Just, I was drawn to the email. I opened it and I listened, I stopped what I was doing and I listened and I immediately emailed Mark and I said, I, I'd love to have Gray on. Could oh, you please introduce me? That's what every musician wants to hear. <laughs> but we have to you have to catch them with the cover and everything. Like I just somebody's putting out a limited edition uh, seven inch vinyl of just a, a few demos that I did a long time ago, and I was like, sure. So, but they sent me the cover, and I was like, oh my gosh, this no, it looks like some. I said, is this AI? <laughs> and then I thought, oh, and then they're like, no. And I was like, oh gosh, I've offended <laughs> someone. But it just looked like a preschool. Like it, it just looked like something that you would just like something that automatically fills in that you can like put your name here. It's a, it's a record yeah. cover, you know? And I was yeah. like, no. And he's like, well, I thought I'd let the music speak for itself. And I was like, but nobody's going to let it speak for itself. Cause no, I would never play that. If I saw that, I would just, it would never ever get played. So it has to get played. You got to get them in the boat. I always say, even with lyrics, when I'm writing a song, I'm like, they got to get in the boat, like line one or else they're not getting in with you. They're going to skip the song or play something else. But if, but, but if you got to get them in the boat before you're going to take them on a journey, if they're not in the boat, they're not going with you. So, yeah, it's so true. Yeah. So true. You've got that one shot, you know, and and when they're, no. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't even know if I saw the album cover, though. Oh, I good. just okay. clicked on, you know, I like the title, but even that, I don't know what it was. I was What's just drawn. To, what song was it? Do you remember? I, yeah, I think it was the your, your a couple sing, singles ago. Such a great title. <laughs> I want to make sure I get it right. Oh, it was a Denver one. It was a, yeah, I'll go back to Denver and you can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't even that because normally that might have I might have skipped that you know I might have been oh that's a little I'm scared <laughs> <laughs> oh my god PTSD no my it's yeah. funny because my my bandmate Eddie Clendenning who's had a storied wonderful music career for ages he's he's been in band since he was like 12 years old but he he played Elvis on Broadway he he originated the role of Elvis in Million Dollar Quartet and he He's just got this Roy Orbison level voice. He's so great. And he writes he writes really great lines, but he, he has trouble like turning them into songs. But the lines are they get my brain just they're like a match to my brain, yeah. you know. So one night we were just he had his phone out. You know, we were like swapping lines. I was like, Oh, I, this is a good line I put in my phone. You know, you always have that note section of your phone right. as a songwriter right. that has all your lines in it. And he's like, What about this one? He's from Denver and he's like, I'll go back to 
Denver and you can go to hell. And I knew that was from his <laughs> divorce that he went through a while back. And I was like, Yeah, I was wondering, oh. I'm like, who do I know from Denver? Why do they want me to go to hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I wrote it like that very night. So, yeah, and then we went to Austin and tracked it with uh, Billy Horton, um, who's got a, a studio called Fort Horton that does a lot of great, like, I said, I want to sound like, you know, like Jesse Coulter or something. <laughs> I want like a 60s, you know, Nashville sound. So um, I yeah. love every song you sent me that we that we're playing in this soundtrack today. I just really loved. I love the when you can listen to a singer and a songwriter, an artist that just takes you places, you know, that you're when you hear the song goes and starts playing and it just kind of sucks you in. I love a story I really... song. A lot of my songs are story songs. They tell, I'm not good at just, you know, like choruses and just like fun little snappy things. It has to, to take me someplace. It has to tell me, tell a story or else I get, I have ADHD. So if, yeah. I, if I'm not paying attention to a story, I can't stay focused on the song. Well, I, I only have you. I'm just going to admit right now, I just found out I only have you for another Oh, 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to take a break early here okay. so that we can play every single song that you sent me and that we've got in the soundtrack here. Okay. Let me mention, let me tell you um, what we're going to hear going to break right now. In fact, it's I'll go back to Denver and you can go to hell. Um, <laughs> you set that up a little bit. Is there anything else you'd like to say before? No, we, okay. <laughs> when we come back in, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> it speaks, I think it speaks for itself, right? Yeah. I'm going to Denver. You go to hell. I can't be kind. That's what we'll come back in with. Anything you'd like to? About I can't be kind. A friend of mine um, was talking about, uh, uh, oh, gosh, what's his name? I can't believe I've forgotten his name. He's an incredible folk singer from the Portland area. And any, anyway, he had a song called Be Kind to Me. God, uh -huh. You have to put, I'll have to. Here, oh, let Michael, me look. You, Michael, you tell the story. I'll, Michael I'll Hurley. Look. Michael Hurley. Michael Hurley. You got I didn't it. Look it up. I didn't look it up. Um, yeah, he has a song <laughs> called Be Kind to Me. And I was listening to that and I was like, I can't be kind. I said it to myself, you know, and then I was like, oh, there's a good song. <laughs> so I wrote that right after. Wait a minute. You can't be kind to yourself is what you said to yourself no, or you just, just like, can't be kind, just kind kind in general? If someone's annoying me. I just can't fake it. You can't so. be kind. <laughs> I'm a nice person, <laughs> but not for the wrong people. Oh, man. I sure hope you do have a job and you didn't get annoyed by me in the beginning and and say, you know what? I got to get out early. <laughs> There's a timestamp on that email I sent you. You'll know. Okay. <laughs> um, I like that. That's very, that's a, that's a great honesty. You're so honest. Okay, here we go. We're going to take you to break and we'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. I'll go back to Denver and you can go to hell. My special guest today uh is gray delisle on instagram you can get her at gray delisle i'm gonna spell delisle for you d-e-l-i-s-l-e -E, and gray delisle griffin.com i've subscribed to all of her sites go to spotify go to itunes go to youtube uh, go to subscribe go to hell <laughs> <laughs> she's a multi-instrumentalist grammy award singer songwriter and she's my special guest today we'll be right back <laughs> 